In 1829, German naturalist Friedrich Porolt, together with prominent Armenian writer Khachatur Abovian, two Russian soldiers and two Armenian villagers, made the first recorded ascent of Biblical Mount Ararat. Later, Porolt would write a book about that ascent, Journey to Ararat. 190 years later, I make my journey, taking my magnetic chest with me. This is my journey, journey to Ararat with my chest set. Good day, good day dear chess lovers. Right now I am in camp 2 of Mount Ararat, 4300 meters above the sea level. While my friends are having a rest, I am recording videos and killing time, you know how it goes. The puzzle which now I want to share with you was composed by my compatriot Genrich Kasparian, first published in 1955, which actually took the first prize. And I have to tell you the solution is really very complex, there are a lot of sidelines. I won't cover those lines, when I get home later I will edit and I will give a detailed insights of the puzzle, but right now I will only go through the main line. So the task is to find the winning line for white, and if you wish you can pause the video and try to find the solution. Meanwhile, we can already get started. So in order to win the game, white is first playing queen h1 check, black king returns on b8, queen h8 check, king b7, and there it goes, we have a very beautiful pawn sacrifice. This is breaking the coordination of black pieces. Now king takes c6 can't be flayed because of queen e8 check, that's why black should recapture with the rook, and we have queen h1 deadly pin with the threat of king b5. That's why black king steps on b6, after which we have queen g1 check. King goes back on b7, and queen g2, again the threat is king b5. Again, black is playing king b6, I'm pinning the rook, not allowing white to play king g6, and meanwhile, white queen is announcing checks and at the same time is coming near. We have a very beautiful staircase pattern, and like this queen, which is approaching to its target, I'm going to climb the mountain at 1 a.m. So again, we have king b6, another check, king goes back on b7. The wind intensified really badly, guys, I hope that you can hear what I'm saying. My microphone is really very good, hope that it's managing to handle my voice. We have queen d5 and already black can't play king b6 because of queen b5 checkmate and as the threat is king b5, there is no defense, white is winning. A very beautiful and creative approach by Kasparian which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. Well, in the end, here are more lines which I didn't cover in my main video. Let's take a look, what if after queen h1 check, black plays not king b8, but for example, king c8. Then in this case, white can announce a check from a8, and if bishop b8, then c6, with a threat of queen b7 check, followed by queen takes b8. Of course, you can announce some checks, but White king has a nice shelter on a6, and in the end of the day there is no defense. This queen b7 check is coming, and white is winning. Or after queen h1 check, if move like king a6, then this time white can play queen f1 check. If king b7, then here comes this powerful c6 check. Of course, queen f3 also allows white to win, but this is winning faster. Now, if king takes c6, then queen b5 check is coming, followed by queen d3 check, and black is losing his rook, or after c6 check. If rook takes c6, then there it goes. Again, like in the main line, we have a very nasty pin with the threat of king b5. If king b6, then queen e3 check, followed by queen e4, and again, with the help of a staircase pattern, white is going to win very quickly. Thanks for watching, dear chess lovers. Feel free to share this video with your friends as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.